video I will be painting this super cute black and white French Bulldog puppy and I will be using basically every color on my palette except the black. Sometimes it's very important to limit our palette because we can achieve better results if we only use four or five colors but sometimes I think it's important to have fun and just play with all the colors we have and we still can have pretty realistic result. And also I think the puppy is super cute. Her name is Pippa. I call her Pippa the potato because she kind of looks like a little cute potato. So I don't want her portrait to just be black and white. I think it could be a little boring. I want it to be fun and colorful. And just a couple of things I want to mention in the beginning of the video so that you can keep them in mind as you watch. I started on a damp sheet of paper. You saw that I sprayed it from my bottle. It's very important because as you see, I am not mixing my colors on my palette. I apply them directly on paper and let them flow and mix together. And I get this colorful watercolor -y effect. So that's how it's achieved. It's important to work wet on wet for this technique. And at the end of the video, you will see I made a really dark mixture from magenta and phthalo green to darken just a few spots, but that was the only mixing of colors that I did for this painting.
Okay, my portrait is almost done because I didn't use masking. I lost some of the white. So I need to make some small corrections. I'm going to do it with white gouache. White gouache also helps me to show texture here on her back, on the edges of those black spots she has on the back. It's much easier to work with than watercolor. So I'm just going to feather out the edges a little bit on the black spots. And after watercolor dries, as you know, it lightens quite a bit, at least two shades. So I feel I need to darken just a few spots. So let's go back to watercolor and also verify our edges, the shape of the ear and also darken her cheek a little bit. hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you'll give this technique a try paint with all your colors and just have fun and let me know in comments if you like to choose colors spontaneously like that or you're more of a planner you pick your colors in advance thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one here on Tamirap Studios channel mm -hmm.